Hi friends, welcome back to our table. Wow, what a night. <laughs> I am happy, happy, happy to say I was wrong about Bloomberg because he just announced he's dropping out of the race and he's gonna back Biden. I don't know why. I was getting unless it's his money and maybe his money helps a lot of the Democrats I don't know why but I don't care I'm just so glad it was wrong <laughs> I was right about Amy and Pete Buttigieg and um, Warren will drop out also and of course Bernie well I don't know when Bernie will but Bernie will Here's what I want to say to everybody, including Bernie fans. Listen to me. I love Bernie. I think everybody loves Bernie just like everybody loves Joe Biden. What I'm going to tell you is it wasn't anyone in the Democratic administration. It wasn't any of that, y'all. It was the people. And I'm just going to tell you how I felt, and I think a lot of people started to feel that way. I love Bernie. He's way before his time. He has great ideas, and we need them. But the timing is wrong. Trump has done so much damage. Can you imagine a new president coming in and then trillions of dollars added on? We're going to be in trouble. We just need to get back and get that taken care of and then move on. And that's what I felt in my decision. And I think a lot of other people started to feel the same way. Yeah, it's great. We need those things. We do. We need them desperately. And Bernie is ahead of his time. And we love Bernie. But now may not be the right time for that. And what we need is Trump out. And there's a reason why Trump wanted Bernie to win. Because he knows he's got a good chance. He doesn't have a good chance against Biden. So that's going to be interesting to do his card. So what I just want to tell y'all is the people made this decision. And only the people. Okay? And I think it wasn't anything against Bernie. It's just the timing. We are in so much trouble, y'all. We're gonna, and when somebody else gets in there and see what all has happened, because it feels like to me money is missing and everything, that's what, that's what we're gonna know. Okay, so what I just wanna say is, thank God I was wrong about Bloomberg. Don't really understand that, but thank God. <laughs> Uh, but everything else, I think everything else I'm going to get right. And like I said, it may be that not Bloomberg, but his money that starts, he starts pouring into the Democratic and, you know, all of the stuff that he's open for the groundwork in places. He's already got, he'll keep them open. And so maybe that's what I was seeing where all of a sudden he was and like the last man standing. But it is going to be Joe Biden. I don't know when. Elizabeth Warren will also, she'll have to, to drop out too. Um, I actually expected Elizabeth Warren to be the first one, but I'm glad that Bloomberg, and he will really help us, y'all. He will. So thank you, Bloomberg, and I'm glad I was wrong on that. And let's check on the two that the race is about now. And I had always gotten that there's something just not right with Bernie. And like I said, I think when it came down to the vote, you started to feel this love the idea, but just the timing's wrong. We can't afford to do that now. We need someone that can just get Trump out of there. And I really think that's what it is, y'all. But let's have a look at Bernie. And that I said that I said Joe Biden's cards are a whole lot better than Bernie Sanders. So I see Bernie going. But then when I did Bloomberg, Bloomberg's cards were better than Joe Biden's cards. 
<laughs> so I said, well, it looks like maybe Bloomberg, but it may be that when Bloomberg gets out, he actually does more good then, which is why all of a sudden it looked like he was, it's weird. But I also think it was people making the decision. A lot of people made the decision the day they voted. And they just said, we love you, Bernie. We love the idea. I don't think we can do it now. I'm just telling you how I felt. But I got a feeling a lot of other people felt the same way. It's nothing against Bernie, y'all. God, we love Bernie. Love him. Okay. Okay, Bernie, how are you doing, sweetie? Bernie Sanders, how are you doing, honey? How are you doing, Bernie? Bless your heart. We love you, Bernie. You're way ahead of your time, honey. Okay, what's going on with Bernie? What's going on with Bernie? Bernie Sanders, what's going on with Bernie Sanders? What's going on with Bernie Sanders? Okay, this is the servant card. So this is someone who works for someone. And Bernie would also be working for the people. So it would be about Bernie. He sees himself as a leader. He does. He understands that. Now this is the theft card. I don't like this card. Not in, in this reading. Because what this tells me is, I don't know, somebody's going to feel like it was stolen from Bernie again. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So someone's thinking about something. It could be that this is what Trump pushes. Ah, they stole it from Bernie again. Y'all, nobody stole anything from Bernie. It was the people. The people made a choice. You can't, you can't blame it on the establishment, the democratic. It, it wasn't them. It was the people. Okay? But it looks like Trump's going to try and say it was stolen from him. Sweetheart. <clears throat> Bernie's going to understand, and I think he's kind of going to fight that and try to get his people to understand. In the end, just like it was the people's decision yesterday, and they made it, it'll be Bernie's people. They'll choose whether or not they, you know. But I can tell you this, this it was not stolen from Bernie, y'all. It wasn't. It was the people. And I think people at the last minute just said, God, we love you, Bernie. We love the idea. Yeah, we need it. The timing's wrong. Not now. Right now, we need Trump out of there. We need Biden. I'm telling you. I got a feeling. I wish they would have talked to people who voted because I got a feeling a lot of them were saying exactly what I was saying. Love you, Bernie. The timing's wrong. We got to get Trump out of there. And there's a reason why Trump wanted Bernie. Just, so just remember that. Not the people. The people knew that that would, that could cause a problem. But the people also knew that we're going to turn out regardless of who it is, y'all. We are. We're going to, I mean, yesterday showed that, and Trump's got to be worried. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Okay, Joe Biden, whoo -hoo. How are you doing, Joe? How are you doing, Joe? Joe Biden, 
How are you doing? How are you doing, Joe? How are you doing? How are you doing, Joe? Okay, so this is the money card. Um, the money's in a room, so there's some hidden or secret about it. I, I'm getting the feeling from this is Joe doesn't have any money. But it will come pouring in, so he doesn't have to worry about it. He is worried about it because it feels like he's been worried about it, about his campaign, because he just hasn't had any money. But it wasn't money that got Joe. It was his faithfulness, his honesty, his truthfulness. He we can trust. He we can rely on. The journey. He's just going to keep going, y'all. He is. He's just going to keep going. Now, there's some bad news here. And the messenger card. So that's a message that goes out. Yeah. Okay. So I think the bad news is Trump is going to be pushing stuff. They cheated Bernie again. Blah, 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 blah. He just anything to sow division in the Democratic Party. And this is the messenger card. So that news is going to go out to the public. It's not, you know, just a message to Joe. It's going to be a message to everybody. Yeah, they cheated Bernie. Again. He's going to try to get the Bernie people mad is what he, Trump is going to do. But I'm going to say this. I think Joe need not worry about that. And Joe just needs, just keep going, Joe. Just keep going. Yeah, because like I said, that's an individual choice that each Bernie Sanders voter will make on their own. Just like we all made choices yesterday. And it wasn't an easy choice, but you just kind of got the feeling. Not now. Okay, so let's just see how Trump is feeling about <laughs> things today. President Trump, how are you feeling today? President Trump, how are you feeling today? President Trump, how are you feeling today? <laughs> okay this is the difference bad news the base so everything everything about trump is going to be about bad news bad news he's trying to put out that are lies bad news coming back on him that are not lies but stuff is coming back on him and that's what i'm getting Okay, he's looking overseas again for help. Probably more of the Ukraine stuff with uh, Joe Biden and his son that he's going to try. And that could have been the bad news too. Not just about the Bernie people that I got in Joe's card when I got the bad news. It could be also the Ukraine stuff coming up again. Secrets. And they're all lies. But it's, it's about all he has. What this is telling me is the young woman is that has matured already. Now, I'm saying that the Ukraine, the overseas, has matured already. It's not going any further. So nobody's going to buy. Nobody's going to care what Donald Trump comes up about Joe Biden and his son and Ukraine and all <laughs> Uh, 
is the winter card. Okay, again, I'm getting preparedness from this card. So it could be that Trump will end up with his own bad news for not being prepared for anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like he, he's just not, he's not prepared to lose. He's not prepared for anything that, that happens. He's not prepared for the virus. He's not prepared for the market. He's not prepared. He's not prepared. So this is all y'all just um, my opinions. And, you know, there are times when, you know, I'm wrong, like with um, Bloomberg. Um, and I'm glad I was wrong about Bloomberg. And it may be that Bloomberg's money starts doing more. And so where I, I saw it as Bloomberg, it may be his money that's helping Democrats. And the organization that he's building and everything in place may end up helping us a whole lot. That's the only thing I can think of because, like I said, I don't know why. But I'm glad to see that um, Bloomberg did drop out of the race and is supporting Joe Biden. I'm glad to see that. I think Warren will drop out. And then I think Bernie will. So let's get a message card. Let's get a message card. Let's get right here. The Queen of Swords. I protect what matters to me. The Queen of Swords. I protect what matters to me. That's why we chose Joe Biden. Yes, all of the other ideas that Bernie had is great and we need them at some point. But we don't need trillions and trillions of dollars added on to the debt that we're going to have and see when Trump leaves. It's just the timing. It's not Bernie. It's not his ideas. We love Bernie. We love his ideas. Not now. Bernie's just ahead of his time, y'all. Bless his heart. Okay. So, woo! -hoo! <laughs> we all think that's great. I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell you a little secret. I think it may be. Now, listen to me. I don't know why I think this. I think it may be the fact that Joe Biden has done so well and ends up. Maybe that's what Trump realizes and he knows he can't beat him. And maybe that's why he leaves really soon. <laughs> we can hope and pray, right? <laughs> okay. I love y'all. Till the next time, friends. Thanks. Keep positive.